Today I'm going to show you how to turn a shoe worth about $45 into a sneaker worth about $200. What's up everybody, I'm Seth Fowler and today I'm going to show you how I take sneakers that I buy at flea markets and thrift stores and Goodwills and I clean them up and make them turn from something like this to something that I can actually resell and make a profit on. So the reason I decided to make this video is because on my series, the $20 sneaker collection, which if you guys haven't seen yet, you definitely need to check it out. There'll be a link to the playlist at the top of the screen. But I buy sneakers like this all the time, in fact, that entire series series is about buying used sneakers, cleaning them up, and then reselling them for more money. And so this is something that I do on an almost daily basis. I buy sneakers that look like this for like 20 or 30 bucks, I clean them up and then resell them for hopefully a decent profit. Now obviously the shoe is in worse condition than most of the shoes that I buy on the series. And the reason for that is because I just want to show you guys how I clean up sneakers in the worst condition. Usually though I do try and buy sneakers somewhere between this and like brand new, or in some cases I can grab sneakers for brand new for great prices, I'll grab those too. But I try and find something in the middle that either doesn't need any work or doesn't need that much work. Because as we all know, time is money, and the less time I can spend on cleaning up sneakers to resell, the more time I have to actually resell those sneakers. So to give you guys an example of the kind of condition that I buy sneakers in to resell, it's usually somewhere in between here and here, and here. So for example, on the last episode, I picked up this pair of Iversons, which is essentially brand new. It's still got paper inside the toe of the sneaker and the outsole. I mean, looks like it's maybe been tried on. And then on the same episode, I actually picked up this pair of Yeezys, which looks pretty good from the top, but when you look at it from the bottom, it's pretty beat. Like the outsole is worn. It's very, very brown on the boost, which unfortunately you can't do too much about. And weirdly enough, the size tag is actually worn completely off. Now I still think the shoe is authentic, but uh, it is kind of weird that the size tag is worn off. And it took me a little bit of time to actually figure out exactly what size this was. But generally my criteria for buying sneakers to resell is the first obviously being, will this sneaker actually make me any money? Like, is it a good enough price to where I can flip it and still make a decent profit on it? And two, is the condition of the sneaker something that I can fix or make any better. For example, with this shoe, this is about as good as a sneaker is going to look. The problem with this shoe is obviously the fact that there's so much wear on the outsole and when rubber is worn like this, you can't fix it. Whereas this shoe doesn't have a huge amount of resale value, but because I got it for such a good price and it's brand new, it should be very easy to flip very quickly. So I barely have to put any work into this sneaker to get some profit from it. And then we get to sneakers like this. This is a Jordan 3. It's a great sneaker. It's a good colorway, but it's very, very dirty. And the good news about this sneaker is that it's not too worn. There's a little bit of star loss on the toe, a little bit of heel drag on the heel, but that's about it. The upper of the shoe is in pretty good shape other than the fact that it's incredibly dirty. So this is definitely a kind of sneaker that I would grab because I know that I can clean this sneaker up. I know I can resell it for a lot of money and it's worth putting in like 20, 30 minutes into cleaning this sneaker because I could make probably a $150 to maybe $200 profit. So in today's video, I'm gonna show you guys how I go about cleaning sneakers like this, a relatively easy sneaker to clean, show you guys the steps that I take and of course the products that I use. This video is sponsored by Rejuvenator, so I should just let you know that, but even if I wasn't sponsored by Rejuvenator, I'd still be using their products and I'd still be showing you guys how to clean the sneaker with those products regardless. So before we dive into this, let's just take a quick look at the sneaker and see generally what we're working with. So the upper of the shoe is very, very dirty, obviously pretty muddy. You've got a lot of mud in the laces, which means we're gonna have to clean the laces. The leather upper shouldn't be too hard to clean. We should be able to just use a brush and just kind of scrub it down. The elephant print might be a little bit difficult to get all the dirt out of and of course the midsole and around the air bubble has some uh, some creases and places that dirt can hide that we're gonna have to kind of scrub into um, the insole of the shoe is kind of dirty as well so I'm probably going to throw these in the washing machine um, so I'll show you guys that process as well and then the outsole surprisingly not too bad most of the dirt kind of just fell off the outsole so that's good but uh, yeah we're definitely gonna have our work cut out for us to make these shoes look as good as they can look okay so the first step that I'm gonna take while cleaning the sneaker is actually put a shoe tree inside of it so that it won't lose its shape while I'm scrubbing at it and throwing it in the washing machine. So I've got this Rejuvenator shoe tree. I think it should be about the right size. If not, I can adjust it. Yeah, it's too big. Let me make it a little bit smaller. I think this is a size nine. So for a size nine, <laughs> this isn't an exact science, but like I like to use the, uh, the fourth notch maybe. <laughs> Let's see if that works. I'm giving advice without knowing for sure. There we go, okay, perfect. So fourth notch, fifth notch, whatever you wanna do. So here it is, the shoe with the shoe tree inside. So next what I'm gonna do is actually get a bowl of water, which we've got right here. I'm gonna put it next to my right hand because it's a little bit easier to get to. And then I've got my Rejuvenator cleaning solution right here. And then I also wanna grab a soft bristle Rejuvenator brush. And what I'm gonna do is actually put some Rejuvenator cleaning solution into this water, a couple drops. And then I'm gonna take this soft bristle brush, kind of mix it around in the water to get as much solution and water on there as possible. 
and then start scrubbing the shoe. And I'm gonna start with a soft bristle brush first to kind of get all the high level dirt off. And then if there's still some dirt left over, we'll go back in with a medium bristle brush. But we're gonna start with a soft bristle and see what happens. And the key here is to just get as many bubbles as possible because bubbles, I don't know how, but equals clean. Let's just start scrubbing away. Man, it's pretty dirty. <laughs> it's a lot dirtier than I expected. I'm even gonna scrub the laces too. That's something that you wanna do because that'll start loosening up the dirt. And then when you throw the laces in the washing machine, it'll help take out the rest of the dirt. Also, it doesn't hurt to put down a blanket or something on the table because this is gonna get very, very dirty, <laughs> as you guys can see. And for a shoe like this that's all leather with a couple new buck hits, but nothing major, it doesn't matter if you get it wet. With Nubuck shoes, you definitely want to use a completely different process. And if you guys want to see me talk about that at all, let me know in the comment section. And I'll do a whole nother video on um, Nubuck and other materials. But let me know in the comments. This is just for a standard like leather shoe, like an Air Jordan or a, uh, I don't know, New Balance 550 or something like that. A shoe that I like. <laughs> it's actually looking pretty good after this initial scrub down. Not too bad. Let's get the bottom a little bit. For the bottom, I like to use a hard bristle brush or a stiff bristle brush. So I'm just kind of, this is unnecessary to do it with the soft bristle brush. And actually it might even be a bad call because I might get some dirt on the upper that I didn't want to. So maybe don't do that. <laughs> and then for the inside of the shoe, we can actually scrub a little bit with the soft bristle brush on the sock liner because the sock liner is, ah. Oh. Man, I shouldn't have worn a white shirt today. <laughs> Man, that was a bad call. <laughs> so for the sock liner, you can scrub with your brush because it's gonna get wet in the uh, washing machine anyway. Now that we've got the initial scrub done and it looks like there's actually not much dirt left on the shoe What I'm gonna do is take off the laces of this sneaker put them off to the side and Then start scrubbing the shoe with the medium bristle brush But first we got to take off the laces just to make sure that there's no dirt hidden underneath Like the uh, the eyelets of the shoe Or the eye stays and then also we can clean the laces by um, dipping them in the water as well There we go Okay, so now that we got the laces out, I'm gonna scrub the tongue of the shoe with a soft bristle brush, just to make sure that that's all clean, so I can get to it now and obviously get the eye stays as well. Get as many bubbles as possible on my table. Man, this is really messy, that's okay. We're getting the shoe clean, that's all that matters. So now what I'm gonna do is get one of my extra cloths and kind of wipe it down to see uh, how much dirt is left on it. Not a major wipe down, just getting some of the stuff off so that I can see a little bit better of what we're working with. Get out the air bubble right there. That actually looks pretty great. <laughs> I'm really happy with that. Rejuvenator really knocked all the dirt off, which is awesome. There's still a couple hints of where the dirt used to be on the sneaker. So I am gonna hit this with the, uh, the medium bristle brush, but I've gotta say, even with just the soft bristle brush, I'm impressed. Again, suds, 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 most important thing. And the nice thing about the shoe being clean now is that the suds are all nice and clean looking. They're not brown anymore. My shirt's just brown, but the suds are clean. The suds are white. Now that the shoe's all sudded up, I'm gonna go for the uh, bottom of the shoe with the stiff bristle brush and try and knock out any of the dirt that's left on the outsole. And then we're gonna get this ready to throw in the washing machine. And the stiff bristle brush is great because it really gets in there. It kind of gets into all the grooves, knocks out all the dirt, even like pieces of gum. If there was gum on the bottom of the shoe, it does a pretty good job of getting that out of there. But now that the outsole's done, what I'm gonna do is gonna throw a couple more suds on the upper of the shoe like this. And then I'm actually gonna grab the Rejuvenator sneaker cleaning bag. I don't know if that's exactly what it's called, but that's what I call it. So what I'm gonna do is throw the shoe with the shoe tree into this bag. This is the sneaker laundry system, I think is what it's actually called. I'm gonna take these laces, I'm gonna dip the laces in the water and throw them in the bag. There we go. And then I'm gonna take the Rejuvenator laundry pods, which is what I use to clean these sneakers in the washing machine. So the way that Rejuvenator instructs you to use these pods is place one pod, one of these little guys, in the Rejuvenator laundry bag pouch, this little pouch right here with this little button. And then it says, wash on cold and reseal bag after use. Pro tip for best results, pre-treat shoes with Rejuvenator cleaning kit, which is what we just did. That's technically pre-treating the shoes. So let's open these guys up, throw one in the pouch, and then uh, throw them in the washing machine. Throw that in there. Button it up. There we go. Now I'm gonna throw this in the washing machine on cold and uh, I'll show you guys the results afterwards. 
Okay, so I finally got the shoes out of the washing machine. I relaced them, I let them dry, and I think they look incredible. So moment of truth, here we go. Here are the Air Jordan 3s, all clean, looking basically brand new. It's kind of crazy. So obviously they could still dry a little bit. The elephant print's still a little bit darker than usual because it needs to dry a little bit more. But this is pretty much it. They're basically done, and in my opinion, they look almost brand new. It's crazy. Now, I obviously wouldn't list these as almost brand new. I'd list these as worn. But uh, still, pretty incredible and um, definitely worth more money now that they're clean and they look like they just came out of a box, maybe worn two or three times. Honestly, I'm kind of blown away by this transformation and they actually also smell better than they did before too. But a huge shout out to Rejuvenator for making this all possible. If you guys would like to grab any of the products that we used in today's video, specifically the sneaker cleaning brushes or the sneaker cleaner itself, or even the product that I use or the system or kit that I use, the executive kit, which actually includes literally everything that you could ever need, a lot of everything you could ever need, make sure to click the links in the description below and use my code Seth. But guys, that pretty much wraps up the video for today. Thank you so much for watching. Once again, if you wanna grab any of the products that we used in today's video, click the links in the description below and use my code. And as always, thank you so much for watching. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't yet, and I'll see you all in the next one.